Hi. Before this video starts, I want to give a huge thanks to my friend Don for the art for the new format of my videos, my friend Lemon for editing the video, and my friend Shori for the thumbnails and the brand new channel art. All their socials and channels will be in the description below, so so go, go check them out. And, and yeah, you, go. The Pokemon community, a fan base that has had a lot going on for almost the entirety of 2019, and hell, even a bit has seeped into this brand new year which in itself has been fucking horrible, have you seen the news? It, it, it's wild out there. But what's also wild is the Pokemon community itself, which has been a bonfire, and it's more apparent now with the releases of Sword and Shield, and trust me, I used to be a huge part of this community, heck, in the early days of this channel, you would even see that I took part in some Pokemon Showdown League and even co-created one with my pal Soto. But there comes a time where the community becomes so toxic that it becomes unavoidable and this has been happening long before the stupid bring back national decks hashtag was made. Alongside some very annoying habits of the Pokemon YouTube side of things, hear me out. I know I barely upload, but some of the stuff they put out is really fucking annoying at times. Let's let's just jump right into the casual Pokemon fan, shall we? And there's a perfect way of explaining what their big deal is. And that is, they don't know what they want. Also, they're entitled, because that's what they are. It seems whatever the Pokemon company does, it's wrong in the eyes of these people, to the point where it becomes a whole ass war between a group of people who don't care and will buy the game regardless, and those who won't stop harassing Game Freak as a whole, which even is going as far as making Junchi Masuda's birthday all about the Sword and Shield national decks. There's a point of when a person crosses the line between valid criticism and fucking harassment. These people seem to be very entitled about the franchise as a whole, and it's really, really annoying to see, sometimes getting as bad as the Smash community, about whether a character should be in or not. This isn't the end of it, obviously. I mean, these people go as far as to nitpick the fuck out of these games. Although, yes, the textures in the game aren't the greatest. I mean, check that out. They still go as far as to go and compare animations from previous games and even talk about the shadows not being rendered perfectly. Like, what the fuck, man? Calm down. I mean, at the end of the day, some of these people ended up caving in and bought the game. Like, what the fuck is even the point then? Anyways, if we move on to the upcoming DLC, which is $30, by the way, people also seem really upset by this, even though these same people are like, okay with buying another copy of the same game, such as Platinum and Emerald, and even going as far as to buying the second addition to the game, like buying both copies of Sword and then buying a copy of Shield and what the fuck. And don't give me that shit and say, oh, Retro, these games actually had some form of new content. Uh, okay. Yet this new DLC for the game is nothing but new content, and it's not the price of a whole new game. Also, some of you, and yeah, you know who the fuck you are, were begging for a fucking Pokemon Z. An entirely new game that is full priced. And again, you get where I'm going with this, right? These people don't seem to know what exactly they want, to the point where it leads straight to harassment. And if I'm honest, this is a straight disgusting attitude to take. No matter what the situation this is about or any of the criticism you have, just don't take that attitude, bro. Like, calm the fuck down. It's a same fucking shot! And yes, I'm going into the YouTube aspect of this bitch, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bit of a doozy. I want to start with the type of content they make, and how repetitive and stale it really gets. And trust me, I have no right to talk, I mean, at least they pump out a video here and there, right? And yeah, I get it. Like, how far can you go with content when it's literally just one topic that you branded yourself by? Well, you can definitely experiment, and hell, maybe even spread out to some other forms of content that isn't just Pokemon. Sort of like how Jay Wits went from Pokemon to Nintendo to just plain old gaming itself. Hey, I get it though. You branded yourself into Pokemon and that's what you love, but you can be creative. You don't have to branch out, for example. Munching Orange has been trying to do a little more of a creative format with his videos, such as that name one Pokemon and win one dollar challenge, and just as recent he made a video on that new Game Freak, uh, Game Freak game, and 
and this this part of the video isn't scripted so so i'm sorry but he did do that challenge video he made a couple of months back and wow you, you can really you can really see the the views and compare them with the other videos that like wow dude and for fuck's sakes, the thumbnails, they all look the same. Why are all the styles so similar? Like, look at this fucking, look at it, look at the video real quick. Look, I, just, stop taking a poop and look at the fucking video for a sec. Look, they all look the goddamn same. Like, fuck, man. Listen, all I'm saying is sometimes it's good to stray away from the norm and make content that's a little, a lot more unique and has a bit more of your style and your own flair. That's all I'm saying, really. Just because everyone else is finding success on a similar format doesn't mean you'll end up just as successful. That just ends up making the format bland and fucking boring and repetitive and stale on you. You see it fucking everywhere! One final thing I want to mention about the content side of things is the spread of misinformation. And listen, not everyone does this, right? But there's one guy I've noticed that just loves doing this. And yo, come on man, I get it. Clickbait is a fucking norm, but I have the decency to put rumor on the title of the videos. Like, you, you never end up knowing who ends up expecting half the shit you spit on these videos. And and yeah, I, I'm talking about Relicify. You can see it in the fucking video. Like, you never end up knowing who watches these things and just ends up mis being misinformed. And that's why we call that misinformation. I know I've been rambling a lot, right? Mostly about bad things in the community I've noticed, but yes, believe it or not, I do have something nice to say about it. And that's a fact that they do know how to band together and get rid of the evil that is CHILD GROOMING. Okay, but seriously, they do know how to end up dealing with a problem and band together to fix it. And I find that very admirable. There is one final thing I do want to talk about before I do end this stupid fucking video. I don't even know how long it is. And that is still, again, about the community in itself. A community should band well together. And they should be able to get through things. I mean, you all seem to love the same brand and everything. Like, there's no need to end up divisive over some things. Instead, try and understand each other. And yeah, I mean... I get it, all communities can be trash at times, but sometimes some communities can end up being a lot more welcoming and friendly, and not become the laughing stock of the internet. And yes, I'm, I'm looking at you, Sonic, like, fuck. But even the Sonic community has its high points at times, and honestly, this is all I gotta say about this ridiculous fucking blunder. But I mean, hey, what the fuck can I say to make a change? I'm a fucking horse for crying out loud. Anyways, new video coming next week. Bye. I hope... Uh, love me! Okay, but seriously, hope you really enjoyed this video. And trust me, I wasn't really starting to stir up drama with the Pokemon community at all. It's just my personal opinions. With the whole Sword and Shield stuff going on last year, and even hell, something seeping into this year again. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I felt like I really wanted to talk about something about it something revolving about it but again i have no intentions of starting any any issues with the pokemon community at all but i do hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you do like subscribe and comment down below whatever the fuck you want and i'll see you guys in the next video